In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a tap for BPM button that can apply to really any uh, any speed master or group that you like using macros in MA2. In this show file I have pulled up, we have uh, a couple different types of moving lights as well as blinders, strobes, and LEDs as you can see on my stage view in MA3D. On this show, it's going to be useful to be able to control multiple speed masters with a tap to BPM uh, button. So I'd like to go ahead and program that. So as we move back over to our main screen in MA2 on PC, I'm going to pull up external window two since I can have a much larger resolution than the built-in screens. And here I already have a macro pool uh, on this view, but if you don't have anything in this view and it looks something like this, you can click anywhere on the screen. I pick up in the left-hand corner to make it full, full size, go to pools and then go to macros. And what we're going to do is we're going to right click on an empty tile or hit edit and then hit an empty tile and that will open up our, uh, macro editing window in here. We're going to add a line. And in the window that pops up, we're going to type our command. The executors that we're going to be referencing are uh, a couple of the speed masters. So I probably want to have dimmer speed and color speed on a, a, a link to learn button. So I will no longer have to press these, uh, the two learn buttons I have at the bottom of the executor. I can only, I can now do it on one button using this technique. So we have these two speed masters that we want to control and they are referenced in the MA2 syntax using the special master command. The three in all of these numbers that we see on our speed masters here actually indicates that it's a speed master. Uh, and then the dot two indicates which of the 16 speed masters uh, that we that we want to reference. So now that we see that we want to reference Speedmasters two and three in this single button, let's go back to our macro pool into our editing page and edit that command. The command for the tap for BPM function is called learn. So we're going to type in learn and then we're going to use SM as special master 3.2 through 3.3 3, or you can do uh, 3.2 plus 3.3 3. I'm just really used to using through so that's why I do that so if we hit enter we look at our command line feedback make sure that everything is green um, except for our number references and now when that macro is run it will serve as a tap function. So make sure you label it. So we're going to name this learn SM3 plus two. Now, how do we make this button easily accessible in an executor? So let's hop back into our uh, fader page here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to store an empty sequence on this executor. So now that we have a sequence start on this executor, we can right click on it and go into the command section of the uh, sequence editor. And it's really as simple as typing in go macro. And then uh, let me pull up which one we used, go macro two. And then I'm actually gonna put a space in there cause I'm an idiot and left it out. Go macro two. We got green text, so we're good to go. Now, every time I hit go, it's going to serve as a, uh, a learn button for both of these. So let's uh, shift back over to the MA3D screen and I'll show you exactly what this looks like. So I'm gonna put a couple of chases on the five R's we have here. We have like an even odd chase here. Actually, let me just go through these. It's like a sine wave kind of deal. Um, and then this even odd function. The hot boxes also have uh, some chases that I've built in here. This is an earlier version of my show file, so it doesn't have all the cool stuff. So now we can see we have a color effect running on the hot box vertical LEDs uh, in the groups of three there, as well as the five R's running in just an even odd chase. 
and we can speed this up using the learn function and it speeds up both the dimmer and the color chase at the same time. I'm going to turn off the chase effect on the hot boxes so you can see the color chase a little more apparently if we slow it down by having a larger interval between our clicks you could see everything that follows again you can get uh, really fast with these especially on uh, a lot of these quick shutters on these moving lights and the quick uh, ability to change colors on some of the newer leds as well so it's almost like a pseudo strobe effect that is uh, programmed using only Speedmasters and a learn button. Go through a couple of our different chase options here. Speed them up a little bit, slow them down. Do it live to the beat, et cetera, et cetera. This is my first MA2 uh, on PC tutorial. If you found anything in here interesting and would like me to continue doing these sorts of things, uh, please, by all means, let me know down in the comments. And uh, I'm sure that I can produce some more videos for you guys. So thanks so much for watching and have a good rest of your day.